Hello, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to another video. It is that time of the year when the Deadman mode is finally back. We have been waiting for this moment for way too long. But very quickly, before we jump into Deadman mode, if you have a minute, feel free to check out my Twitch. I'll be probably streaming 16 hours daily. There's gonna be videos out every single day for the upcoming, I don't know how long, and I really can't wait for it. Also, there is no sponsor on this video, but if you guys want to support me and get something in return, feel free to check out my merch store. I have some really comfortable and nice looking designs there and with that being said let's jump into deadman mode i am extremely excited ladies and gentlemen we are a minute away from deadman mode starting the nerves are present i am shaking but i can't wait to log into it i can't wait <gasps> there they are go 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 log me in there we go we're in we need some hair oh it's so laggy i can't change anything oh my god let's go to gnome stronghold straight away yeah this is this is runescape gaming ladies and gentlemen. This is runescape gaming when it lags like shit Let's get 25 agility one tick at a time. All right, there it is 25 agility didn't get a pop-up But you don't get pop-ups before I think level 30 or 50 so there's 25 now We're gonna start the grand tree quest. Okay, so I quickly banked my items grabbed my starter pack Grabbed the coins which we'll need to buy the wool with and now we're gonna make our way to RD We're gonna buy a wool and then we're gonna go ahead and complete the three num village quest So it's gonna be a little bit of walking, but I think we'll do just fine. We need to buy a rope from this store and we need to buy a ball of wool from this store we got ball of wool for monkey madness and we got the rope for waterfall very solid here comes the first danger this thing dropped sickner no way sickner died you're trolling <gasps> no i was playing my other account you can't make this up <laughs> Nah, you are griefing. See here, we could just pretend we never died, right? For the YouTube. We just pretend we never died. Hey guys, we didn't die and we just killed this guy. So now we can continue on with our quest. All right, let's talk to King Bolren after a slight mishap. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. When you're not really fine. And this should be the very first quest completed right here. It takes a little bit of time because of the animation, but there it is. The quest is done. A lot of experience gained, 53 attacks straight up. We are now combat level 21. Solid. Is it time for the second death? Let's see it. Okay, we're in safe zone. We're chilling. Woo! We're good, we're good, we're good. Actually, we're honestly good here. Nice. Okay, we should get a fat XP drop here. Haven't done this quest in forever. Yep, there it is. Magic, attack. What's our combat level? 29. So now I'm actually gonna push for level 36 combat. And then I'll go do some really dangerous activities with my 60 minute protection. Wait, he just attacked me and I can't attack him back. Excuse me? I can't attack him back. And I can't do anything really. Okay, I, I escaped. Never mind. Well, that's the first tank of the tournament. I decided to spend 10 or 13 of my minutes killing monks just to quickly get 28 range so I can use Dorgish and Crossbow to kill green dragons to get 10 dragon bones to get 43 prayer to then on go ahead and complete monkey madness. Quite a big detour, but it's needed. But there we go. One more level almost here and then we can use this to kill the dragons. This has to be the most stressful deadman mode I've played in forever. Uh, but the plan is I'll go ahead kill like four dragons or five i'll get double the bones and then we get 43 prayer quickly and then we continue on with our plan but this is so stressful doing all the quests getting killed this whole protection timings man nothing is going as i planned it but you know what i am having fun all right well now we have some bones, but that might not be enough. So we need RNG right here. We really need RNG to come in. All right, here we go. Please, for the love of God, give me luck. I really need luck right now. First one saved. Let's go. Second one gone. Shit. Saved one. Let's go. Come on. Saved one. Let's go. Saved two. Huge. Come on. Save three. Let's go. No, we didn't. Please. Shit. We're 42. 42. Buying one the bone. Come on. At least give me enough here. This guy's gonna trade me. 4K for you only. Yes. Wait, wait. Oh my god! The one bone specialist! No! It's fine, it's fine. We can just bury one bone. We're good, we're good. We're good. We're chilling, we're chilling. That's good. It's one bury away. We're honestly relaxing. Holy moly. We have range protection now. Now we need to make it to grand exchange and... Wait, what do I need for monkey madness? We need a ball of wool and a gold bar. That's what you need to get right now. Here we go. The big bone coming from the grizzly right here is gonna be it. So if we bury it, there it comes. 43 prayer. I can now pray melee and I can now safely do monkey madness. Let's go and do it. Bro, I got the most complicated puzzle in the existence. There we go, puzzle completed. It took me almost two hours, but you can see your lives here. You see, it shows that I have three lives over the school. That's how long it took me to figure out that that's what this is. Oh my god, I'm so embarrassed. Boss fight, here we go. Now at least this fight should be much easier with a bone crossbow. I don't know what the max hit is though of the jungle demon. There we go, that's it. Ladies and gentlemen, the most stressful part of the deadman mode tournament is about to be done. Here it is, the monkey madness completion and now we're gonna grab some fat experience as well. There it is. 10,000 coins. Oh shit, I forgot I get 10k 
as well. Three diamonds, lovely. That 10k might be a game changer to buy some prayer potions, full mithril, strength tammy, stuff like that. But that's not it. Now we also get to get free experience uh, after the quest is completed. Strength and stamina is what we're focusing on. And let's see the biggest XP drop in the history of the game. Oh, I can't wait. These are the stats before and the combat is 41. Ooh, ooh, it is fat. 81 combat straight away. Oi, 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 that is a little bit broken, isn't it? Oh my god, look at this. We can go straight to the guild, basically. Oh me, oh my. Right, we're in too low of a combat level world. Let's go ahead and go to a bigger one, which would be... And here we go, I finally found it after 7 hours of searching. There's 18 players that managed to be faster than me. And that all comes down to me dying like a little baboon. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We gotta get full mithril, we gotta go get dragon see me as well. So let's go get dragon see me first whilst we have protection that's the most important thing dragon scimitar come here come on come on buy one there it is the big scimitar that'll do it right it appears that uh, agile flea is in the building okay first 100 warrior guild tokens i'm gonna do this as i get them because uh, i don't want people to overpopulate this quickly so let's do it fast oh this is my sweet spot boys this is where I like to be. Ooh, 70 strength, nice. All right, from here on, I'll just update you guys on every defender I get. I'm currently 70 attack strength and 61 defense. Let's see what happens. Hey, there it is, the first one, ladies and gentlemen, the bronze defender. Let's get more tokens. Co Ooh, there we go, the first supply drop. Bunch of cosmic runes and bunch of mud runes. I could even sell this in the shop for a ton of money, I think. This is huge at this stage because I'm broke. I've got nothing. Look at how many, 500. What? That's worth so much. Let's go. 72 strength, long bone. All right, apparently that's something cool. We'll take it. Iron Defender, ladies and gentlemen, there it is. Stat upgrade, as promised. We are currently on 70 attack and 72 strength. Very lucky so far, actually. I can't complain. Very nice. Oh my God. Steel Defender, eating taquitos, stat upgrade, 73 strength. Nice. The XP, like the drop rate increase is really coming in hot right now. And I still have tokens, so I just, I can just keep going. There it is, finally. This one took me a while, but Blank Defender obtained. And the stat upgrade, 76 strength. And I'm gonna keep going strength till like 80 probably. This is good. And my protection is basically out in a minute. So basically, in one hour, we did end up getting up to Blank Defender. Very cool. Does anyone... Oh! I was gonna say, does anyone know what the drop rate of defenders actually is? And here it is, the Mithril Defender coming in hot. Very nice, just Adamant and Rune to go. The stat update, 77 strength, very solid. Yes, this is huge. Adamant Defender, took me 5 minutes and I still have 140. I think here, if I get a little lucky, I don't even know if it's lucky, if I just get on drop rate, we'll be good, basically, to go down to the room where I can actually get some really good drops. So, I'm really excited for this. Oh yeah, stat upgrade, uh, update, I mean, 78 strength. Oh my god, yes, Rune Defender, let's go, and we still have... 130. Oh, this is huge. Let's go. Oh, I'm so happy. That was so lucky. No stat upgrade because it was literally a back-to-back, -back, basically. So here's a few things I would love to get from this. A rune full helm would be huge. An emblem would be huge. And then, obviously, a dragon defender that would be massive as well. That's what we're going for. Let's see if we can get lucky. And also, nobody's in this room. We are alone. The server is ours. Rune mad helm? All right, it's an upgrade. We'll take it. All right, it's not quite a full helm. <laughs> I look funny. Oh my god, there it is. The Draconical Defender, ladies and gentlemen, we got it. I am very happy. Uh, here's the update for the people wondering. 80 strength, 74 attack, currently working on 78 attack. 73 hit points and 61 defense. Almost 90 combat. We're gonna go straight into Slayer here. Uh, but first we're gonna try to sell a couple of things and see if we can make some good purchases. Alright, let's see it. Rune gloves coming in hot here. There we go. Rune gloves. Wait, I could go Dragon gloves? Obviously I don't have the money. So we'll buy the Rune gloves here. Very cool, nice upgrade. And now let's do some Slayer. Alright, let's go. I want a Slayer. Slayer task that's safe, like in this dungeon, if possible. First, she needs to teach me what a Slayer is, and please... I really want a good task here. What was that? Call fights. All right, first task is done. The dogs were completed. Pretty bad task to get at the start, but now we take more tasks from Neve and hopefully get something like, I don't know, heal giants, hellhounds, uh, stuff like that. Stuff that's kind of safe and easy to do. Basically, that's the idea. Let's see if we get lucky. Thank you. That's, that's what I'm talking about. That's perfect. Ooh, supply drop, second one. Super anti-poison, blue dragon skills, and law rune. That is same as in the past, actually. So they were saying they changed the drop table, but I'm not seeing any changes right now. Both of my first two drops are the same. 15 super anti-poisons and a bunch of dragon scales. Yeah, nothing crazy there. Ladies and gentlemen, 78 attack, meaning that I can now, I guess, train a little bit of strength. Nothing, I mean defense, nothing too crazy though, maybe up until 70 or something, just so I get those combat levels faster. And then after that, back to strength most likely. <gasps> 
Ah, oh, nah, I got bamboozled. I thought I got something crazy and I got a clue scroll. First real task of the tournament. And look at the stats, 78 attack, 80 strength, 65 defense, but also obviously 46 slayer, right? Hopefully we get a good task here and uh, we don't get absolutely greater demons, we'll do it. Let's go. I would bet that people don't even know where this place is. That's the best part about it. 69, the number, the sex number. 50 slayer though, that means we can now get assigned blood welds and blood welds are an amazing task. It's mainly amazing because you can get superiors as a drop and superiors have 100% chance of dropping you rare drops basically. So that's why it's really cool to get that task. Yo, 70 defense, let's go back on strength. Rune, full helm, upgrade, let's go. And we have 10k out of this to spend on more prayer potions. Another rune, full helm, that can go for quite a little bit on the grand exchange right now. It's still very early into the game, so I'm pretty excited to be selling this, buying a lot of potions out of it. Very, very happy. Oh, cooked caramboans and some sea turtles. We got some food that's pretty decent, actually. What? 102? That's like better than shark. 56 caramboans. Holy shit. It was so worth it, waiting like what? It is about 7 hours since the release right here. This is a huge supply drop, this is massive. Oh, and another full helm, let's go, we're actually rich. This task is huge. But there we go, the task is done ladies and gentlemen, could not be asking for a better one. I got so much out of this one. So let's see if the next task is good and we are getting very close to 101 combat as well. But obviously with all the money that I get from selling all of that, I also put some decent offers in the GE. The rune full helm is selling, the caravans are selling, oh I'm so rich! I am so rich money. Let's see how much money is worth right now dragon bones. Let's see dragon bones What are we thinking 700? Yes, give me how many 100 D bones. Yes, they will buy slowly. There we go. Perfect Oi, oi, oi. All right. We also need some prayer pots and some strength pots. Holy moly. We're balling. What do we get? Cal fights? Yeah, not worth the risk, is it? I mean, what I could do is level up and then do the cal fights whilst under protection. But how would I level up? Uh, we're not gonna do that right now. Wait, cave slimes. I need like rope for that, right? Black dragons? Yeah, that's simple enough, right? Okay, we just got 85 strength. I'm gonna train attack to 80 right now. And then defense until my combat level is level 100. That's the plan at least. And then we're gonna do probably piety quest chain whilst under protection. So yeah, pretty excited for that. But the levels are quite slow now. All right, let's see. Hellhounds, that is amazing task. Nice. I'll be able to AFK this one quite nicely. But yeah, I'll be stuck here for a while now on the hellhound task. But they are level over 100. Very high combat, so I can get some really good support supply drops and on top of that I can get an emblem and emblem would be huge right now oh 82 attack no 80 attack let's train some defense to get to level 100 combat as soon as possible how long is this task oh it's so long hold up Sigil of exaggeration ladies and gentlemen we obtain our very first sigil drop but what does it do that's the question inspect all non-combat skills hold up all common Nick permanently boosted by five. So when I reach like 80 Slayer, I can go do whips. If I get like 78 Slayer, I can do like dragon boots. That's cool. We'll use this until we get something else. That's huge. Alongside the Sigil Dropper, now also combat level 100. One of the few people in the game that are this high combat. And the plan is to keep training defense till 80. And then I think one more attack level to get to combat level 101. To then get the biggest XP drops in the highest combat level world. So I'm really, really excited for that, honestly. Just a little bit more to go. Let's see if this does it. Are we combat 100? And one? Not yet. One more level and we'll be done. <laughs> nah. Nah. No way you got Z step from a chicken, my guy. What do we get? Greater demons, we'll do that. Also, I forgot to attune this. Ladies and gentlemen, we are attuning a new relic. There it is, look at it. Wait, can you unattune it? Oh, you can, nice. Sigil of exaggeration. That means when we are 80 Slayer, we can go for whips and stuff like that. It's gonna be pretty exciting, right? Very nice. And now I'll go on and continue with Slayer. Basically, that's all I gotta do, really. All right, there we go. We can no longer hit this greater demon. So it is time to hop for the final time to a bigger combat level world now i could stay here right after but i want to utilize the protection and how am i going to utilize the protection you may ask i'm going to go into the wilderness altar and train my prayer very quickly but first i will be one of the first people to actually be able to join these worlds let's see how many people are currently able to play in these worlds barely any one australian three europeans three americans and now i'm also amongst them actually i'll first on grab my stuff that i want and then uh, we'll hop but very happy with this and that's gonna finish the first video most likely
All right, look at my inventory and take a guess what we're gonna do next. Let's hop to a very empty grand exchange, I would assume. This is now a combat level 101 to 126 world. We're gonna quickly get a ton of free player experience. Well, it's not free, but kind of free. And look at this. The grand exchange will be completely empty. <laughs> oh, this is so insane. This is so unreal. I have never seen grand exchange this empty in my life. Never. Wow. I really hope you guys did enjoy the video. Another one dropping tomorrow. If you are new here, please subscribe. I'll be uploading every single day for the next weeks, basically. And yeah, I'll see you all around. Thank you very much for tuning in today. Have a good one and bye-bye.